Hey guys, it's me again. Here am I, and uh, this is the very last video I promised to you. I have here the final version of the homemade DDR pad. So let's see how it looks like, and let's see how it works. So here it is, very solid, very comfortable to use, and now I will show show you how it works. So let's start the game. I hope I will pass this first round. As you can see, it's very accurate, very comfortable, you have a very good uh, feedback from the pad that you are standing on the right tile and that you are hitting the right button. So I think that's all and let's see how it's made and how it looks like inside. Okay, and now let's see what's inside this uh, DDR pad. Actually, I will start with the control unit of this whole DDR pad. It's the uh, normal, very cheap gamepad, which is connected by a USB to the PC, as I mentioned in the very first video. To the gamepad, there are heading these uh, white wires, which are connected to these naked wires, uh, which work like uh, the button or like the uh, pressure uh, sensor and let's see what's under this plastic here we have this naked wire duct taped or uh, taped to the base okay so next on this plastic tile we have the aluminium foil it's uh, like a sticker I have decided to use this because it's a little bit thicker than the aluminum foil so that it will uh, work longer time and <coughs> this passive tile is made just from these two uh, hardened paper tiles so this is it it's all screwed with the screws from the both sides, from the top or and also from the bottom. And yes, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed the whole series. If you would like to know the dimensions or uh, the, cor con um, the specific materials I have used for this or the, p the, the tools you will need for making this home DDR pad please send me a message or leave a comment I will send you the uh, reply as soon as possible see you later